What's up guys? So we're here at Dumbbells Health and Fitness and I'm going to take you through my bicep and tricep workout. Here we go. I started off with a bench press today and I never really do flat bench but I just really fancied it today because I've been cutting my body fat percent uh, quite a bit recently and you know I know how much I can bench so I wanted to test my strength to see if I still had it see if I could still bench press the you know three three discs or one rep I managed to get three reps so I'm pretty happy I've still got my strength with the um, loss of body uh, loss of body fat and yeah but usually I only stick to incline as my upper chest is pretty weak and it's not developed as much as my lower but yeah it's it's a good strength test for me and that's why I did it today. I moved on to skull crushes next. Skull crushes is a great way to build my triceps for me. Um, a lot of people say no, do a close grip flat bench and no that doesn't work for me at all I can't feel any I really can't feel anything compared to skull crushes for me you know um, but it is important to keep your form good I mean where I'm from I see a lot of guys thinking they're huge and they're trying to press as much as they can on that and the form is absolutely horrendous they don't go all the way down they don't get the stretch and the squeeze and yeah I think form for skull crushes is, is important but I love to finish on a drop set every time, just to get the maximum burn and just totally rip my rip my arms off. You know, it's it's great. But if you're new to skull crushes, do not do them by yourself because I have seen people drop the bars on the heads, and that's why they call it skull crushes. You know, or nose breakers. <coughs> so little but it feels so heavy I do, no matter what body part it is, try and try, I always try to get a drop set in. Arms, demolish them. Chest, demolish it. Back, beast it. Legs, do it until you can't stand up. It's the only way you'll grow, naturally of course. And it's fun. <laughs>
Okay, so when it comes to kills, I always start with dumbbells. And people always say mix kills up, you know, every time you do arm day or biceps, mix it up. But, you know, I like to say the same. I like starting off with, you know, twisted kills. Uh, start off light. And yet again, form is crucial for these. You need to get that squeeze in at the top. Every time you lift the dumbbell up, squeeze right at the top and then get the full stretch down. You don't don't want to be doing half reps uh, with dumbbells. You know, good squeeze, good stretch, and just keep the form going. And after you warm up set, yet again, I like to go to failure every set and finish with a drop set for maximum burn. And you know, just really blast your arms, make them grow. And yeah, I just I just love push myself to limits. And the pump from doing drop sets for biceps is amazing. So it's really worth doing it. Swing it. Ah. Okay, hammer kills, I love. I really do love them, you know. Um, they work part of your arms that you wouldn't probably know about. They work the brachialis muscle. And what that is, it runs under your bicep and it really makes it pop out if you work it properly. And I do, and I think that's why my peak is so high because I work this muscle properly, my form's good, I squeeze in at the top and I stretch out all the way down and I don't concentrate on too much heavier weights. Tricep, tricep push downs, you know, cable push downs, um, whatever for your triceps are great. Uh, for me, the burn you get on these uh, is the best. I don't, I don't think it can beat it. But I never go super heavy with these because yeah, your back starts to, um, to arch over. You start using different parts of your arms you don't want to be using. So if you're with your mates or if there's people watching you, just ignore them. You know, make sure the weight is good. Make sure the weight's light and make sure your form is good. Don't care about, oh dude, look, I can press more than you because your form won't be good and your arms won't grow as fast. Your triceps won't be as good, you know, stick to the form. And if you can, drop set them or superset them because this exercise gives me the best burn, the best pump for my triceps and I love it. It's probably my favorite tricep workout. <coughs>
Can't put the pin in. Fantastic. And it's hard as hell in this gym. I'm sweating like a beast. But it's all good. I'm gonna get those gains. <laughs> I'm still hunting for the gains. I'm hunting for my arms. Tricep though. What even is this weight? 45 ounces? Damn, son, come on. Light as hell. See, that was a warm-up with 45s. Um, I'll probably jump like 150 now, do a set of like 15, you know, lightweight, and then just do a drop set from 150 down. Probably do 150, 120, 80, 50, and back to the 45s to finish. Ain't nothing. Nothing. And last two reps are good. The song dropped and it just, boom, energy. So that's why I listen to hard styles good in the gym, because it's pretty, pretty aggressive music. Um, and it's full of, you know, drops. So it, the song builds up, builds up, builds up, then boom. So as that song drops to me, I get more energy and it's beastly. So you should definitely try and listen to it in the gym one time. It's, uh, it's pretty good. The monkey bars for me, I just wanted to give them a go because where I train, we have nothing like this. And I ran the Tough Mudder race in August last year and it was great. And there was something similar to this and where everyone was just 
doing it normally, like, you know, normal monkey bars. I did a pull-up for each one, so I thought I would do that again today. And it was fun, you know, I got a good pump from it, to be honest. And, yeah, you know, it just made my workout a bit more fun and more enjoyable. It's pretty good. That was a good workout, for sure. Um, I don't know what to say, really. You just gotta, if you're watching this and you find me inspiring, motivational, or if you're watching other people who are motivational to you, just ask yourself this. When you're in the gym, are you training as hard as these people you're watching? Because these people you're watching are the ones you want to aspire to be like. They have the bodies you want, they look amazing. They have the, the abs, the chest, the arms, they have everything you want. But these guys work for it. Every one of us works for it. It's a, it's a hard thing. It's not a sport or a hobby, it's a lifestyle. And we, we work for this non-stop 24 seven. We train our ass off in the gym, we go back and we're training in the kitchen. You know, we're cooking meals, we're cooking meals, we're studying our meals, we're studying our bodies and, you know, we live it, we breathe it, we love it. And, we, I just want you to do the same. So don't just go in the gym, lift a couple of weights, have a protein shake and go home playing on uh, your Xbox. The ones who will have the good bodies will put the time and effort in. And you'll know if that's you or not. But you know, if you're not doing all this, just try. Pick your feet up and feast it. Because that's the only way you're gonna get it. Train hard, work hard, play hard, have fun.